Hello everyone, I am Debadri and today I am going to implement the home automation project on this architecture house. This is a sample project that there is no much difference in logic and processes in reality and this sample project. So the components that you will be requiring for this project are an Arduino Uno, a breadboard, a flame sensor, an LDR, an LED, the piezo buzzer or the alarm, a gas sensor, an ultrasonic sensor, an ESP module and finally a DHT11 sensor, the temperature humidity sensor. Just remember to install the app called IP Webcam from the Play Store. So without wasting much time, let's start with the project. So now you can see for the first step of the home automation I have set up a security for this home where this mobile acts as the CCTV camera and you can see the CCTV footage live at your server from your laptop. And if anyone is there in front of your door or the garage then this buzzer will ring. Now suppose this is a man, uh, he comes to your doorway and stands up here. You can see the alarm is ringing. Or if he is in front of the garage, then also you can see the alarm is ringing. Now you can check who is there in front of your doorway or your garage from the CCTV live footage. And I okay, so now what if you're outside your home? You want an email if there's somebody at your doorstep, and the link will be sent with that email so that you can see the CCTV footage from wherever you are. Suppose this man is over here. And now, let's check the email if I have received anything or not. See, I have received doorstep detection. Someone is there at your doorstep, get the live CCTV footage. Now when I click at this link, I get the live CCTV footage see if there's any movement over here this is the live CCTV footage see this movement I am detecting this on my mobile no matter wherever I am through the web server so this is the full part of the security automation Now that we are over with our first part of this home automation project, the security part, let's move on to the next step that is the automation of the electrical appliances. Here we are using this LED as the light of this room and this is the light sensor which is gonna help the LED switch on and off automatically. Okay so now I have set up the LDR sensor and the LED in the room. Since there is not much light going into the rooms, the LED is on. There is enough light to get in the rooms, the LED is off. On, off. This is one way we can automate our electrical appliances. The other way around is controlling the LED through the web server. Okay, so the other way around that you can control your electrical appliances is through the common web server. As you can see this is the uh, server for, the, for controlling the electrical appliances at your home. I have used the ESP8266. Uh, so let's see if uh, it actually works or not. Check out this thing for the last time. See it's turned on. As you can see the LED is st still on. Now let's click on the off button. See it turned off. So in the same way by this coding on the server of the ESP module we can control all the electrical appliances uh, at our home through this web server. part of our home automation project is the LPG gas leakage detection. Suppose you are outside of some work and there has been an LPG leakage at your home. 
you will get an email at that instant when there's a leakage been detected by this sensor the sensor is the MQ2 gas sensor and there's an alarm attached over here as soon as there's been a leakage detected you will get an email so let's check this out we are considering this body spray as a gas and see we got a mail what is it gas LPG leakage Le LPG gas leakage has been detected at your home get to know the in intensity so when you click the link the cloud server will open and you can get the data from this server what's the actual intensity look at the data this is the intensity that has been recorded by the gas sensor so by the same way we will implement on the flame sensor so let's move on the next part of this project the flame sensor part so here we come to the next part for detecting any kind of fire at your home you are out for some work again and there has been a fire at your home and you are unaware of that now let's see how that works out I forgot to put the buzzer here so we are gonna check the mail once and as you can see that fire detected show correct text in the same case fire alert fire has been detected at your home get to know the intensity at things big so this is the cloud where you can get a look at the intensity of the fire that has been uploaded and as a result you can take the actions so the things are very easy I have uploaded all the code and the links have been given in this uh, tutorial you can follow them and easily build this project okay so now the last but not the least part is the temperature of your room here we are using the DHT11 sensor, the temperature humidity sensor and the ESP8266 which helps us to upload the data to the cloud. The cloud platform that we are using here is the ES, uh, the ThingsPeak and as you can see this is the temperature graph and this is the humidity. So why am I doing this? The only thing is that what we can do from here is that we can export the data in forms of either JSON, XML or CSV and we can do data analytics over there and we can very well predict the temperature that's going to be there inside your room tomorrow and predict every day's room temperature as well as the humidity. So with this part, we come to the end of this project, the home automation using Arduino and different sensors. Hope you have liked the video and hope that you will also implement it quite smoothly. Please rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.